everybody, it's Melanie again with Lost and Found. I uh, wanted to take a little bit of time to go live this morning for a few minutes and talk with you guys about brushes um, and demo a new brush that I'm going to have um, both online and in my retail shops and just talk about um, a little bit more about Fusion and how various brushes work with Fusion and with milk paint also. So I'm going to give everybody a couple minutes to join us. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, my kids this week have been at Vacation Bible School in the morning. Um, and my oldest has actually been away for a few days at church camp, uh, which is a big deal. <laughs> it's the first time that he's been gone um, on an overnight thing without us. So he's coming back today. Um, I'm gonna hope that he changed clothes while he was there, uh, that maybe he hopped in the shower once. Um, I had to let a little bit of that go when I sent him, but anyway, so it's been kind of a quiet week for me here. I've been trying to get some work done in the morning while the boys have been gone, um, and I did skip yesterday morning and I went bathing suit shopping, so I didn't really do any work yesterday morning while they were gone, but you know, you got to take a few days and take some time and play, right? So um, anyway, while we're waiting for everybody to kind of jump in and join us this morning, we're going to go ahead and get started talking about our brushes. And want to remind you, of course, that these videos are always available um, after the fact. If you don't get a chance to join us live, you can watch them anytime in my feed. You can comment with your questions. Um, you can comment live as we're going, but you can also comment later with your questions, and I always do my best to go back and answer them. So, um, all right, so let's get started talking about brushes. Now, if you have downloaded and read my ebook, Furniture Flipper, that I wrote, I talk in that book um, about if you're going to have a furniture painting business to invest your money in tools and not toys. Um, that's That's kind of one of the one of the big things that I'm big about is that you don't need everything on the market to produce a great piece of painted furniture. And especially if you're just starting out, you want to put your limited resources into products that are really going to be tools for you and that are going to help you to produce a higher quality finish in a quicker amount of time and give you better results. And, and so it's going to be worth your money. Um, when I first started painting furniture, I thought that brushes fell into more of the toy category than the tool category, that they, they weren't quite as necessary to get your nice finish. And I'm, I'm still a little bit on the fence with that, to be honest with you. Um, I like my Fusion brushes and my nicer quality boutique brushes. Um, I also tell my customers regularly that you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy their best quality paint brush there that's gonna cost you 10 to $15 and have a great brush there too. So um, I don't want anybody to hear me say that you have to buy a, a slightly more expensive boutique brand paintbrush to get a good finish. But the more I've painted, the more I've come to love my brushes um, that I have stocked. Um, and really they're not, price point wise, they're not a lot more than the nice brush that you're gonna go get at Home Depot. Sometimes it's five to $10 more and if you take care of these brushes, they're gonna last you for years. I've been using the same two small round natural bristle brushes for over two years now. Um, I just keep them washed out. I use my brush soap with them. I store them hanging upside down and I keep using them. So uh, what I always tell my customers is that if you're gonna paint a lot and you're gonna maybe paint um, to sell your pieces, then I think it's totally worth investing in a boutique brand paintbrush um, and basically by that I mean not a paintbrush from your hardware store but a paintbrush sold um, by your local furniture paint merchant like me or someone else in your area so um, I, I don't ever want people to think that um, they have to have these brushes but on the same end on the, or on the flip side they're great brushes and so if you want to uh, to invest in them as a tool, then I, I totally think they're worth an investment. So I wanna look at the different brushes we have available. First um, is this angled small synthetic brush. And this is kind of probably the most familiar brush that you're used to seeing. It's gonna be really similar to the hardware store brushes that are available. These are synthetic bristles. Um, this paint brush is the brush that I use when I paint with milk paint. 
Um, it works really, really well with milk paint. The synthetic bristle is not going to hold as much paint in it, and that's why it works well with milk paint. Milk paint is thinner. Um, if I used, say like this, my natural bristle brush, it's going to soak up way too much water and it's going to dry out my paint. So this is my paint that I use with milk paint. Um, I do use this sometimes with Fusion. I actually prefer with Fusion my natural bristle brush. And people have different opinions on that. Some merchants love these with Fusion. They think they can get a smoother finish with these. I really like these with, with Fusion. So um, let's talk a minute about these. This is a natural bristle brush. Um, and you can see just how thicker, um, how many more bristles there are than this. Um, this is often marketed as a chalk paint brush or as a wax brush. You can totally use it as a wax brush. It works great if you're going to wax something because you can really swirl it, get the wax in there, and then get the wax into the crevices of where you're, where you're painting. And then wash it out with mineral spirits, and then it's fine to use it again as a paintbrush. So this brush does have a great two purpose. Um, but this is my go-to brush. If I am painting with Fusion, this is the brush that I use. I find that I'm able to get a really smooth finish with it. It holds a lot of paint. So you're not having to, to dip and go back and dip and go back. Every time you dip and start again, you're creating more brush strokes and more texture on your piece. So that this is a paint brush that holds a lot of paint. Um, you're gonna have dip your brush and more time going back and forth before you have to dip again. And I think they give a really smooth finish. And I'm able to go vertical with them, back and forth, um, flat. I For me, I even paint my cabinets with this. So. Um, I like these a lot and so these have been retailing for $21.99 and good news the price on these is going to drop a little bit it's going to drop to $18.99 we've um, Fusion has the parent companies released some pricing changes and so a few things are going up a few things are going down Ooh. Um, this is one of the things that's going to be going down so these and the medium sized brush are going to be dropping in price a couple dollars both in my local shops and online so um, if you haven't if you haven't got to try one of these, that's great. These guys are um, $16.99, so not, not much of a price difference. These you wash out with soap and water, dish soap and water. These you wash out with dish soap and water, um, and then you can also use the Fusion Brush Soap, which is fantastic. If you have a natural bristle brush and you don't have some of this brush soap, this stuff is amazing. Um, Think it, this is real hair, and so just like you know your own real hair, you need to condition it, and that's what this does. This is like your conditioner. Um, so you can wash it out with dish soap as your shampoo, and this will also shampoo a little bit, but then it's also a conditioner, and it keeps those bristles nice and conditioned so that they retain their, their flexibility, okay? So um, the last thing I wanna introduce you to today are these guys. What in the world are these? They look kind of crazy, don't they? They've got these long handles, these awesome copper ferrules here. Okay, then this is just a selection of four of them. These are the brand new Stallmeister brushes. Now, um, I'm, I'm still learning about this company, so for please uh, forgive me if I, if I speak something wrong, but um, these are new to the Fusion line. And Stallmeister is, um, is another family-owned company. It's been around for about 70 years, and they've been making these really high-quality brushes. And um, we are now able to, to order them as retailers and to have them stocked in our shops and online. Um, this is a sample set that I was able to buy a couple months ago, and people have been raving, raving about these brushes. And I'm gonna be really honest, I haven't tried one yet. <laughs> so but I'm, gonna, I'm about to try one here in a few minutes with you guys live. Um, so here's the deal with these brushes. I'm going to set, set them all down with this one. This one is, is um, one of the round brushes. There's several different shapes and sizes of brushes. This is the round brush. And this is actually a blend of both, you see, synthetic, that purple is synthetic, and see those other ones down there? Those are natural bristle. So this brush, it's kind of like it takes these two and it puts them together in one brush. So what you get is that the natural bristle brushes hold a lot of paint down in the in the brush and but then you've still got this nice firm group of synthetic bristle brushes which is going to lay that paint down really smooth 
Um, you may wonder what in the world this orange string is about. See that tied around here? That stays on, that goes up, and it is tied around the base of the bristles to keep them formed and to keep them straight so they don't, sometimes over time they spray out like this. And that's not, you want them all nice and formed together. In fact, with these brushes, when I dry them, I always put a rubber band around them to hold them together like this to dry them. Because if after you use them, um, they will tend to kind of spread out a little bit. So um, that's what this string is for. Um, so these brushes, um, they're like I said, there's a whole variety of them. This is a round brush. This one is the flat brush, which is going to be kind of comparable to this one. Um, and then I have an oval brush. And then this one is a pointed brush. You see the little point on it? This is the one we're actually going to use today. So um, here's the deal with these. They are supposed to provide really superior paint application when you're working with Fusion. I, I don't think these are going to work well with milk paint. I still with milk paint am probably going to stick to just my straight natural bristle brush. But I may try, I may try this guy and see how it works. But I, I think the, the thinner, lighter brush is still going to work well. But um, and the price point on these, they may look really expensive, but they're actually really, really affordable. They're not a whole lot more than what our other brushes are. And so, um, in fact, I have ordered to have stocked this one, the oval brush, and this one, the pointed brush. Um, I'm going to try those out first. And so they're going to be stocked online and in my local shop soon. And the pointed brush, let's see, this one is going to be $25.99, and this one is going to be... $24.99. Yeah, so within a few dollars of, um, of the other brushes that we have. But um, I'm expecting to love them. Everybody that's tried them is just amazed with them. So um, here is the deal with this one, the pointed guy. This point helps you get into corners and in small areas and, and kind of push the paint down into cracks. This oval one is going to help you go vertical with straight lines and then switch to do long flat places. So um, it's a little bit different than just a round. Like this one, you know, I can kind of squeeze together to go up and down, but the oval is just a little bit better shape to go vertical and then go flat. So um, I hope that's making sense, you guys following on. So that's what we have, those are our options. And these cleaning wise, um, you're gonna clean, you're gonna just drop them down in a cup of water and let them sit and let the paint come out. And then you're gonna to toss out that water, sit them down in some more water, let the paint come out. And then every two or three washes, use some of your Fusion brush soap, which by the way, is just pure linseed oil. So it's good for the environment, it's good for you, it's all natural, and it's gonna condition those natural bristles. So um, here's what we're gonna do. I've got a little table over here. I'm gonna unclip you. Follow along with me, excuse my hand. And turn this around. Okay, I've got a little table here that I'm going to work on. Um, I decided to leave the top. I, it had some alligatoring on the finish where it was flaking off, and so I needed to sand it, and I got out my power sander, and like that, the finish came off, and then I saw this gorgeous wood, and so um, I just can't, I can't bear myself to paint over that really pretty wood. So we're going to leave the top. Um, I'm going to put a stain on it. And then I'm going to paint the base down here um, in Champlain, which is, is one of the my, kind of my go-to fusion whites between that and raw silk. Um, Champlain is a really nice, neutral, not bright white. And so you see all these corners and cracks. I've got some Champlain down here, and we're going to give the Stallmaster brush a try and see how it gets down into those corners and cracks. So let me have a seat. All right, I'm going to dip it down in. Get a good little bit on, and let's see. Oh yeah, it's, I wish you could feel it <laughs> here with me. It's really laying that paint on nice and smooth. And then see how I'm able to point it up there and get it in that crack. So again, I haven't I haven't had to dip my brush yet. This is all from one 
one dip and the coverage how it's laying it out is so nice and smooth and the brush feels good in my hand we're going to dip a little bit more paint in now head over here let's get into that corner oh yeah i like how that pointed bristle gets right up there into that corner corner i can't talk this morning okay Let's take it a little bit, maybe down here. Oh, that's laying down nice and smooth. A little bit more. Start along the edge, and then you're going to go long, smooth strokes back and forth. I always kind of go back and go from one end all the way to the other when I'm painting a flat surface like that. Let's just finish up the leg here. It's doing a good job getting the paint down into those, down into those recesses. Sorry if I'm not holding the phone very good. Yeah, this is a great brush. I'm really enjoying using it. The handle is a tad long. That may take a little bit getting used to. And also, it's worth mentioning that when you first start with a new brush, see this one, can you see? It's got a little bristle coming out. That happens, I'm just gonna pull it out. New brushes always lose some bristles along the way, but they stop. Don't, don't think that there's something wrong with your brush. They just, they do that as kind of they're getting their first, first couple uses and all those loose bristles are working their way out. Okay, that's gonna look great. I'm excited about it. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed the demo on these brushes and, oh, let's move that, and our talk about brushes. Um, I have had fun trying out the new Stallmeister brush. I'm going to finish working on my table while I've got a little bit more time before I pick up at VBS. So it's good to see everybody today. Thanks so much for everybody who turned in, tuned in live. And um, for everyone who's going to watch this later, I appreciate you being a part of um, my Facebook community. And I hope that you learned something new and you gained some helpful information. So everybody have a great day. Bye.